All right, ladies and gentlemen, Contavious Caldwell Pope out of Georgia, a guy that I really liked out of Georgia, has agreed to a one-year $12 million deal with the Los Angeles Lakers. He will be returning. I always joke because Contavious Caldwell Pope played a nice portion of the NBA season last year with an ankle bracelet, and he was in and out of jail. Um, I don't clown anybody in the system. I got people in the system. That ain't what I'm doing here, but the fact that this was an NBA player making hundreds of thousands of dollars a game but was incarcerated is hilarious to me um here's what i think about Caldwell pope he needs to get focused he needs to play hard because i believe this deal came from you know he's managed by rich paul which is lebron james's agent and his homeboy and his close friend you know what this is is um lebron james telling you you know pretty much him and his home him and rich paul using their power right as soon as lebron signed Caldwell pope was a couple hours later I'm sure there was an agreement with the Lakers. Yo, if y'all if y'all take if LeBron signs, y'all gotta give Caldwell Pope one more year. It's not a long-term deal. Caldwell Pope will be out of there after this year, unless he outperforms himself with the Lakers this year, which I doubt. But he'll have open looks with LeBron. Everything will be better with LeBron. But Caldwell Pope is gonna have to really um find himself in this league, become some of that potential that made him a lottery pick, if I'm not mistaken, with Detroit. And he's going to have to find himself as a player and a man. Because this might be it for him. Rich Paul is pulling some strings. And this is a string. To get him $12 million after the season he had, he doesn't deserve $12 million. This is a Rich Paul string. The Lakers don't mind doing it because they have LeBron next to this guy. And because um, it doesn't matter because they couldn't go out and get a DeMarcus Cousins or anybody this summer anyway. They didn't have... I don't know if they didn't have the interest, but they didn't get them anyway. So there's no more top tier free agents on the market. You can give them that money and just, you know, it'll come off the books next year. You got to pay. You got to use the money for something. You had it. And you just keep it, you know, it'll be off the books for next summer when Klay Thompson, Kyrie Irving, and Kawhi Leonard will be available. So, hey, and, and DeMarcus Cousins will be available next summer as well. So big time free agents will be available next year. And you could theoretically just, you had to get that money to someone. The only thing I don't like is, Y'all see me talk about this on my platform. Some of this stuff, these pulling these strings with Rich Paul and LeBron was, and I get it, you got to use your power if you got it. And people do this all the time. We just don't know about it. But some of this mess is what got them financially tied in Cleveland. This is what got the Cavs tied to Tristan Thompson and J.R. Smith. And I don't like that. I don't like when LeBron does that because I need him focused on basketball and not these other antics. I need the, the best guys who contribute on the court. Not what's best for your homie's business. And that's me, just me. Congrats to Caldwell Pope as he stole $12 million from the Lakers. Because he didn't play like $12 million last year. Not at all. Congrats to him, though. I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing. Creating your own platform, your own website. I got one life to live out my dreams, and I'm giving this thing all I got. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I represent the culture. Now, right now, you're turning up on MrTalaferro.com, shawty. Yeah!